The last function for COCA that I want to look at is the chart function. Earlier we saw uh, how you could compare a word or phrase in the different sections of COCA, such as academic writing versus the spoken section of the corpus. Chart does something similar, where we can enter a word or phrase, and we can see immediately across all the different registers or sections of COCA and how frequent that word or phrase is. Let's try with the word experiment. Again, we have our sort limit option here. Uh, we want to sort, we want to use mutual information. And again, three works well. Okay, we'll click frequency, frequency by section, and see what we get with the word experiment. There you go. We can see the word experiment happens in all the different sections of COCA. And our little histogram or bar graph here will show us how frequent it is in each. Just at a glance, we can see that the word experiment is most frequent in the academic section. Um, so we can click on that and get more information about the different subsections of academic and how frequent that word is. So that's one thing you can have your students do when they look at a word or a phrase. It's always important to know what register that word or phrase is used in. Um, that can be an activity where if your students have a word or phrase, the first step is to ask, what register is this word or phrase typically used in? Or where is it most commonly used? Um, then you can search for different collocates and going beyond that, look at how words compare with one another or find patterns in the quick lines and then use the list function to look at the wider context and see specific strings of words. There's a lot that can be done in COCA. One last thing that I want to stress is that yes, you can have your students interact directly with COCA, but also as a teacher, you can use COCA to help you prepare materials. If you want your students to look at how big and large are used, you don't have to let them go directly to the corpus. You as a teacher can use the corpus to help inform materials that you make. A lot of times that's better for students um, because just letting them loose directly into the corpus might be overwhelming if they're not trained well. I encourage you to use COCA. It has a lot of potential and a lot of power. Your students can interact directly with the interface or you can use COCA to help inform your own teaching materials that you make.